Hello, everybody. All right, doing a new uh, video here. I know I promised you one for going to the Philippine Embassy in, or the consulate, actually, in Chicago. We did go to the Chicago consulate and do it, but stupid me forgot the camera in the car, which was ballet parked, and I didn't want to go back and get it. My wife is riding with me today. Say hello, my love. Hello. <laughs> she did all the paperwork. She knows everything about the the uh, process to renew passports. We had a lovely time. We uh, hung out in Chicago for a couple of days and ate like crazy and, you know. Good restaurant there, Havana. Cuban food. Well, it's okay. The Weber Grill. The Weber Grill, excellent restaurant. That was fantastic. You know, after the uh, Weber Barbecue Company, they have a, re a restaurant in downtown Chicago. You know, you can look it up online if you want to go there. Excellent food. You know, be prepared to spend. You know, don't be cheap. So, you know, we dropped the an okay amount. It was well, well worth it. My wife spoiled herself, didn't you? Right. Didn't it. you? Yeah. Yeah. She had the lobster. lobster tail. She had a surf and turf. Excellent. Excellent food. I had a big steak myself. Excellent price. Good, uh, I'll tell you, good martinis. So, <laughs> had a couple of them. So, I wasn't driving like I am now. I wasn't driving. We, we took taxis. The taxis are the best way to go in downtown Chicago. They're not expensive at all. And uh, you can get around really quick. We hopped in it, gave them the address for the consulate, and before you know it, we were there. We spent like six, seven dollars for a taxi, and I didn't have to worry about parking the car again. So, my wife, you know, she did all the, she went to the for, for people who have Filipino wives or fiancés that are coming over, you're going to have to, if you live anywhere in what was once considered a Louisiana purchase, from Louisiana, Mississippi, on north, including north and south Dakota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, parts of Ohio, uh, Kentucky, I think so. All, all those set, all those Indiana, you know, all those center states. Minneapolis. Minnesota. Minnesota. Yes, yeah. Minnesota. You're gonna have to go at some time to the Chicago consulate for the Philippines. For the Philippines. So, uh, if your wife, fiance, whatever, you know, if your fia if your wife wants to uh, do dual citizenship. She has to go there. You know, renew passports. She can vote there. She can register to vote. But of course, who's who's going to travel from Louisiana to Chicago just to vote? We don't even travel two blocks to vote. So we're going to travel. You know, get in an airplane and fly fly all the way to Chicago. I don't think so. But anyhow, she can vote or he, whichever way you're going. So. He doesn't vote. Uh, anyway, so she, we took off. We, we took off the beginning of the week and went to Chicago. Stayed at the Holiday Inn Express downtown there on uh, Miracle Mile. Excellent hotel, inexpensive. I got a I got a good deal for a Sunday Monday, eighty one dollars a night. Had a fantastic view. I'll try to see if I can, when I upload this, this uh, video, I'll try to sneak in a couple of the pictures that I took off my cell phone. Cell phones, you know, not that great, but I did upload them to my Facebook, but I'll have to see if I can rip them off there and put them on here. I'm not very good at it, so. But my wife was happy. You know, she got to hang out, we did some shopping, we bought her some earrings, pretty little 
earrings. Don't touch me when I'm videoing, woman. You're driving, uh, really? Yes, I'm driving. I'm breaking all kinds of laws here. Look at that. If I get fired for this. So, we are on our way home. Beautiful day in Wisconsin. It's only 14 degrees, but it's not really that bad because it's not really windy. Not like the other day. Yesterday it was snowing. So, we're on our way back up. Lizelle has to go to work tomorrow. I get to stay home and play on my video games because I'm a big child. My latest one is uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm really into Battlefield 4, but now I'm doing Modern Warfare for a second time. I'm going back through it now in, in the advanced mode, so that's what I do when she's at work. I stay home, you know, so I don't spend money and play video games all day and get my hands all cramped up. We spent enough money already this week. <laughs> so. That's the update. She's got. She, she'll be getting her uh, her renewed passport in the mail. Hopefully in a few weeks. How long? Three months. Three months. Twelve weeks. Twelve weeks. Okay. They don't do anything fast there. Twelve weeks to get their passport from Chicago to Wisconsin. Imagine that. I don't know where they send them to. So. But anyhow, so now you see me with my wife doing something other than um, in the car with her driving lessons, which continue to this day. She's doing okay until she gets on a bumpy road. But she's getting better. She's getting faster. She needs more practice. She has time. When do you have to take your test? October. Oh, she has until next October. This is only February. She has plenty of time for practice. I'm her teacher. She'll do fine. So. You got any messages, my love? Nothing. No messages? No. No? Stay safe and God bless. Say anything to your Filipina friends? I get a lot of Filipinas that are, that are subscribers. Over half my viewers are from the Philippines. Keep searching. <laughs> okay, keep searching. There's somebody out there for everybody. Alright, y'all take it easy. Be safe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Subscribe. If you're a first timer and you want to see. I don't upload like some of the other guys, you know, lo uploading every week and all that. I, I do it as it comes, honestly. If something comes up, I'll, I'll video it and upload it, but I do answer questions. I'm there. You send a question, I'll answer it even if on my cell phone. I'll answer the question for you. Um, you know, for those, for those of you who keep getting on, on my, my, uh, my channel and saying my wife's a gold digger and she's just going to rip me off and clean out my savings account and everything. Well, God bless. Okay. This ain't no gold digger over there. He don't have money. Uh, He's broke. I'm broke. I'm a broke, broke, you know what. So. <laughs> I'm not broke. I got a good job. But I'm not rich. I work for a living. Respect it. And so does she. Yeah. And she works very hard, so anyway so leave your messages your comments your likes your dislikes i listen to them all uh, filipinas if you have a question about the process if you're engaged to a to an american you know getting started in the visa process i can answer questions about that um we've been through it it takes a while be patient you know it could take a year so there has to be a lot of trust. Don't be in a big hurry. Work through it. And next thing you know, you'll be on an airplane coming over here looking for looking for what? Fish. <laughs> it took us a while to find a Filipino store, Asian stores that are good. Uh, if you 
you want to know where there's some in Minneapolis, we know where they're at in St. Paul. There's some great Thai stores that have fresh fish and crab and all kinds of stuff. You know, frozen fish that comes from the Philippines over here. You know, you have to search for it. It's, if you're marrying a truck driver, which there are a lot of truck drivers who have Filipino wives, ride with them for a couple of years. Yes, I said years. She rode with me for two years. That's right. Two years. So, she went all over the country. And she learned a lot. It's going to take you over a year anyway to get your, your, your work permit and everything else. So, relax. Enjoy the ride. And then later you can go to work. Okay? You know, your husband's marrying people because they want company. They don't want somebody to be somewhere else when they're working. So she comes out with me once in a while now and uh, remembers what it was like. <laughs> so, bye for now. Take it easy.